I'm Kathy and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be guiding you through a yoga sequence that's focused on opening the chest and shoulders. During pregnancy, as your chest grows and your belly grows, there's a natural rounding of the upper back of the shoulders. There's this curvature that happens which makes the pecs tight, the chest tight, and even that space between the shoulder blades. It can be uncomfortable in the upper back. Today we'll practice yoga postures to help open and create more space in this area and more space in the upper back. Now begin in a comfortable seat. You have the option to sit on a blanket like I am or on a throw pillow. Extend the legs forward, point and flex through the feet, and then recross the legs, sitting with one foot in front of the other or perhaps one foot extended out, one leg extended out until you're in a comfortable seat with the shoulders over the hips and lengthen through the spine. Deep breath in and out. Connect with your breath. Know when you inhale and when you exhale. One more deep breath in. Extended exhale. The eyes are closed, open the eyes. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, moving with the breath. Exhale back. Shoulder circles. Warming up that space around the shoulder heads. The space in front of the chest as well. And adding to this range of motion, take the hands to the shoulders, inhale, connect the elbows together, and on the exhale, extend behind. Move with the breath. Now add complete circles. So take the hands up overhead, inhale, and on the exhale, extend the arms back behind you. Take all that space around you. Inhale, lift out of your seat. Try to touch the sky. Exhale, take the hands behind. Full circles with the arms. Inhale up, exhale lower. One more. And pay attention to the sensations around your shoulders. Probably more warmth in the area, more circulation and blood flow. Now take the hands behind you and bind them. So either the palms are going to come together like this, interlace the fingers. You can also grab opposite forearms or opposite elbows and take the hands behind. Now wherever you're holding, broaden through the collarbones. Smile through the heart, soften the tailbone and ribs, and then lift the sternum up. As you open, lift above your baby, above your belly, so you're not pushing out with the abdomen. Instead, the abdomen stays soft, but you're pushing above your belly, sending the sternum up in a diagonal. Invite your breath to the tight spaces in the chest and in the pecs around the shoulder heads. A couple more breaths. Now release the bind, soften the palms down to the floor. Take the hands behind you and extend the legs forward once again. This time drum the knees and recross the legs. So whatever leg you had in front, take that one to the back. Make sure we're even on both hips. Place the hands around the knees. On the inhale, send your body forward, your baby forward, but the elbows back, a seated cat-cow. And on the exhale, round the upper back, look towards your baby, hold the knees, and wiggle into the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale forward. Extend forward, open the front body, exhale. Come back and round, make a letter C with the upper back. Find your pace back and forth, movement and breath connected. Inhale forward, exhale back.
last round. And return to a neutral spine. Shoulders over the pelvis, ears over the shoulders. Lots of length in the spinal column. And take the palms down to the side or the fingertips down to the side into Gomukhasana arms or cow face arms. This is a really good shoulder opener. Take the left hand up overhead and then place it behind in the spine, right be between those shoulder blades. So you have the elbow pointing up to the ceiling and the forearm behind the head. Now the other hand can either come across the lower spine or reach for opposite hands. So I'll show you from the back what that would look like. So you're either here or you can reach for opposite hands. There's one side that doesn't do it for me, so I have to go into the other side to show you. So in cow face arms, press the head back towards the forearm. Soften the ribs, quiet the ribs, and soften the tailbone. Deep breaths, especially into the spaces that feel tight or feel tense. Maybe you close the eyes as you focus on sensation. Release through the bottom arm first, and then lengthen the top arm and lower down to the mat. Roll through the shoulders. Opposite side, right arm comes up this time. Bend at the elbow and take the hand between the shoulder blades. Opposite hand either comes across the lower spine or reach for the opposite hand. Now that can be a deep stretch. So be mindful that your stretch is comfortable and that you're not pushing or forcing any edges. Press your head into the forearms, shoulders back, collarbones wide, chest open. Relax through the front of the ribs. There's a tendency to want to flare out those ribs open. Allow them to soften to keep the integrity through the abdomen. A few breaths, quietly holding and inviting your breath into the shoulders, into the chest. Now release bottom hand first, and then the top arm, lower the hand down to the mat, and roll in the shoulders again. Pause for a moment to notice how that feels in the upper spine. So adding some more circulation and creating more space in that area, how does that feel for you? Observe. And we take those little check-ins to see how we're progressing and that will tell you whether to move deeper into the postures or maybe pull back a bit. Now I'm using a blanket for some extra petting on my knees. You can also use a pillow. Come onto all fours and move into child's pose. So for your belly to have plenty of room, take the knees far out, big toes connected. Sit back into the heels and lean onto your palms. Come a little closer to the floor, onto the forearms. And that all depends on what trimester you're in. Maybe your belly's touching the floor, so you could stay here or even all the way down, forehead to the mat. Now to add a shoulder opener, bring the hands into prayer hands, elbows onto the floor, and guide your thumbs to the base of the mat. Stay here for several breaths, deep extended breaths, breathing all the way down to your baby.
release the palms to the floor. If you were doing that shoulder stretch, extend the arms forward, rise back up onto the knees and onto your palms and readjust back into all fours, drawing the knees closer to the midline, tops of the feet on the mat. Cat cow, this time full expression of cat cow. Keep the lower back neutral. Inhale, curl the upper back up towards the ceiling, looking between the eyes, lift the chin. But again, keep that tailbone soft so you're not bringing the tailbone up. On the exhale, round in the back, right between the shoulder blades, press the floor away from you and look at your baby. Rock back and forth. You can even add the feet to warm up through the feet if you want to curl the toes under. As you curl the upper back up towards the sky, exhale, uncurl the toes, round the upper spine like an angry cat and release. Look at your belly. Inhale, open. Exhale, flex in the spine. A couple more rounds with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Warm up the spine. Release. And now back to neutral. Coming into that child's pose position again with a different variation in the upper back, thread the needle. This is a gentle variation on thread the needle. So your sit bones are connected more to the feet. Usually for thread the needle, the, the knees, the hips are up high, but this one you'll be lower. There's space between the knees, the knees are wide so that now you can lower down and you have space for your baby. Extend the arms forward, look between the hands and lift up to your fingertips. So it looks like little cupcakes with your hands. Now bring that right arm underneath the left. This is the threading part for thread the needle. Soften the face to the mat, or you can even put a block or a pillow underneath. And extend your left arm forward. For a deeper twist or more sensation, you can take the left fingertips by the face, press into the left fingertips, and look up towards your left shoulder. Extend the left arm, unwind the right arm, look forward and come back up onto those fingertips, looking between the hands. Balance to the other side. Take the left arm underneath this time. Rest on the side of the face. Extend through the right arm or bring the right fingertips to the face and twist a bit deeper. Extend through the right arm, release the left arm, bring it forward, both palms in front, rise up back onto the knees and into tabletop position. Moving into downward facing dog, if you prefer not to be upside down today, come back to cat cow. Moving at your pace or follow me for down dog. Extend the arms forward one palm print forward, curl the toes underneath, open the knees a little wider than the hips, curl the toes under and send the sits bones high. Keep the heels high and the knees bent to focus all your awareness on the chest and shoulders. Rotate the shoulders away from the ears and turn the inside of the elbows up towards the sky. Extend the neck, extend through that upper back and then lift the tailbone high, widen the hips and keep extending 
away from the floor so you have a long, long spine. Maybe you add the heels down to the floor. Or you can keep them up high if you want to continue to focus on lengthening the arms, the sides of the waist, and the back. Stay in this shape, downward facing dog, for a couple of breaths. Keep the shoulders open, ribs relaxed. And then soften on the exhale down to the knees. All of us meeting on all fours. Now if you do have that blanket or pillow underneath you, you can bring it to the side, coming into a standing position. Curl the toes under, open the knees a bit wider, maybe as wide as the mat this time. Walk the hands back into a squat. Heels down to the floor, toes pointing forward, knees pointed forward, so you have neutral feet. And then bring the forearms to the thighs. Palms together, a full breath in here, long spine, long tailbone. Hands to the waist, elbows up, press into the floor, ground down through the feet, and lengthen. Come up into an extended Tadasana Mountain Pose. So noticing your posture here as well will help to relieve some of that discomfort. And again, coming back to what we said in the beginning, how there's a natural rounding of the shoulders. So starting from the bottom to the top, we'll open this area. Feet underneath the hips, Spread out the toes, soften the knees. Relax through the tailbone. You don't want a deep sway in the back. Soft here. Pubic bone or lower belly comes up slightly and the ribs are stacked over the hips. Open the shoulders. Rotate the shoulders away and then broaden in the chest. Open in the pec muscles. Palms forward, that'll help as well. Bring the ears back a bit so they're over the shoulders and lengthen through the crown of the head. Notice how simply having that awareness in the upper body creates some strength to support you, not only through the core, but through the upper back as well. So whenever you're feeling that discomfort through the day with the chest and the shoulders, come back to your posture. Notice how you're standing, and maybe by adjusting, you can find some relief. Now open the feet a little wider, so still have that long, long uh, stance, that alignment and posture, and come into sun breaths. I'll face you for a different angle. So make sure you have plenty of room for your baby here. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, fold, fold at the hip, hip creases, fold down the center, and place the hands on the thighs or on the shins. Lift halfway, extend forward, and stretch through the back of the legs, stretch through the back of the spine. Press the tops of the shoulders down. Bend into the knees, hands to the heart, reach up, lengthen, and on the exhale, side bend. Inhale, reconnect the hands, exhale, other side. Exhale, draw the hands back to the heart. And this time, make a shape, fingertips in front of the heart space touching fingertips like we did cupcake hands on the floor. And now change that shape, the same shape, and bring it behind you. So the fingertips are touching behind you. It looks like this. Bend the elbows, open the chest, broaden through the front. And then release the arms, bring them up overhead, open and come back in the sun breaths, fold. Use the breath. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale. Exhale. Fingertips in front of the heart. Fingertips to the back. Open the chest, bend the elbows. Draw those elbows towards one another. And stay soft through the belly. Last round, fold forward, extend, 
reach. Side bend. Fingertips to the heart. Same shape to the back. And release, hands to heart center. Observe for a moment again, just like we did on the floor. Notice the sensation around the shoulder heads, the chest and the upper back. And place the hands at the hips and I'll face this way. You still, you can face forward. Step forward a few steps. Feet are underneath the hips for warrior one. Warrior one, a little wider and shorter in prenatal yoga. Left leg back. So there's a wider stance happening here. Toes point forward. Bend into that right knee. Hands to the heart. And bring those fingertips together like we just did. Press into that back heel. Hips point to the front. Soften the tailbone. And broaden through the upper back. So as you press into the fingertips, you'll feel a little bit of tension there. And it'll help you to open in the collarbones and widen in the chest. On the inhale, extend through the right leg. And on the exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now take the hands forward in front of you, overhead, long through the back leg, and bind the hands behind. Interlace the fingers, palms together, Rotate the shoulders away. Perhaps take a slight back bend above your baby. So you're not opening through the abdomen, but lifting above the abdomen over towards the sky. And you can also come down inside of the right knee for humble warrior. Extend to the back leg. Rise back up on the inhale. Release the bind. Hands up overhead to the heart, hands to hips. Bend into that right knee, lift that back heel and walk yourself back to the center of the mat. Utkatasana, chair position. So the feet are underneath the hips for this. Inhale, fingertips together, exhale, sit back in the chair. Lengthen the tailbone, so not swaying that lower back. Stay or bring the hands in front of the shoulders or overhead. Two breaths, knees forward, toes forward. You can go a little deeper and then lengthen through the back of the legs. Bring the hands together. Step forward now with the left foot forward and right foot back for warrior one. A little wider and shorter than normal. And that's to create some more stability through the pelvis. Fingertips right in front of the heart, pressing into the fingertips. Energy through the front body, energy through the chest. Guide your left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, extend the leg, exhale, bend into that left knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, lower. Lift through the arches of the feet. Now take those hands behind you. Bind. And interlace the fingers. This time change your thumb on top. Rotate the shoulders back. You can take a gentle back bend and come forward into Humble Warrior. Inhale, lift. Hands up overhead. Back to the heart. Fingertips touch. Hands to hip, lean forward, bend into that left knee and walk your feet back to the center of the mat. 
Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, sit back into chair. Fingertips in front of the heart, or you can have arms in front of the shoulders. Plug those shoulders back, strengthen the upper back, soften the tailbone, or hands up overhead. A couple of breaths here. Release the hands, extend through the back of the legs, and come back to standing. Readjust your posture for a breath. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Now coming down to the back, just as we did in the beginning, or before we got up, coming into a squat position, hands up overhead, hands through heart, bend into the knees, Knees forward, toes forward, forearms on the thighs. Stay here for a breath. Notice the strength of your legs. Extend through the back. Open the chest, lift the heart. Fingertips to the mat. Come down one knee at a time into child's pose. So using your padding again, if you'd like. Knees are wide open. Sink back into the heels and lower onto the palm, the forearms, or the forehead. Also taking the option for a shoulder stretch. Prayer hands, elbows on the floor, and then the fingertips towards the middle of the spine. Focus on your inhale and exhale. Creating more space with each breath. Steady, slow breath. Now, if the palms were behind the head, reach them forward, walk the hands to the knees, roll up through the spine, and bring the knees close together in kneeling pose. Come onto your seat, seated on a blanket or a pillow. Place one foot in front of the other, or one shin in front of the other. Now fingertips to the mat. Inhale, exhale, release through the neck. Left ear to left shoulder. You can stay here or add some extra weight to the top of the head with the left hand. Soften the top of the shoulder towards the mat. Lengthen the space between earlobe and shoulder. Release the top hand. Send the head back to the midline. Now the other side. Release. You can also add the right hand on top to increase the pressure to feel more sensation on the side of the neck. the right hand back onto the floor, float the head back to the center, and back onto your seat. Place the hands around the knees or holding your baby. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly. As you deepen your breath, notice the extra space around the upper back. 
and send your breath to the back of the ribs, the back of the neck. One more deep breath in and out. Soften the hands, open the eyes. And bring the hands to heart to close your practice today. I thank you for joining me and I thank you for allowing me to guide you. May your upper back feel more open and you have some relief to that upper back tension. Thank you.